I used to be a completist of anything Hellboy, whether it's a lighter, whether it's Christmas ornament, I had to have it. So now currently I'm more selective just because, you know, especially after the movie, there was tons of Hellboy stuff. So I buy what I love. I buy what I love and so love a lot of stuff. <laughs> I try and collect everything from ornaments to the Hellboy board game, which my beautiful girlfriend actually hand painted me one year for our anniversary. This is my absolute favorite thing. I've never used it, but it's the uh, Hellboy Ouija board. I love it so much. I love these selected editions. They're my favorite part. It took me quite a while to get them all together. I got all the Funko Pops. I got all the movies. I think I've read every single Hellboy graphic novel. Why would I need to buy this cover, and then this cover, and then this cover. Every time I buy a new Hellboy comic book, it feels like a, a very special moment for me. I was thinking of taking some of them out from the box so, so you can actually see them, but I felt very bad. I, I didn't want to ruin them. I want to keep them in the beautiful package. I ended up getting the Agdru Jihad amulet, Baba Yaga's acorn, all of those things that were in the comic that I could actually feel and embrace, and it just brought Hellboy even more to life. As long as they keep producing, I will definitely keep on buying. Look me up when it's Hellboy's 50th anniversary. See how much more stuff I've got. <laughs> but let me show you what I'm most proud of, is bringing the Hellboy character to life. I walked into our store the other day and there's Hellboy standing there. You go to every convention, there's a Hellboy there, or a couple of them. Some are better than others, but some are pretty darn good. Their whole year is putting that costume together. When they get up on stage, they are very serious about who they're portraying. I cosplay Hellboy. It was one of my dream cosplays. The reaction I've got from fans, from friends, has been really something. I love to see the weird, random stuff that people are doing. Women who dress up as sexy female Hellboys, people who dress up as pink Hellboys, blue ones, you know, whatever they're doing. I love that the Hellboy universe is big enough to accommodate that, and I find that endlessly inspiring to see what people can take and run with it. Wear your heart on your sleeve, let people know what you love, and uh, Mike gives you a lot of good stuff to want to put on your body. There's probably hundreds of thousands of people who have tattoos based on something that Mike drew, because it's just so graphically appealing. It took about 57 hours, it was quite painful, and I love it. It's a little thank you to him for everything he's done for me. I still love it to this day. Mike is very grateful to the fans. I mean, the fans are incredible. They're a very passionate group. And actually the early days of the internet, the comic book resource forums were like my thing to do every day. And we would get exclusive images, fan art, all that stuff. They held a private screening of Hellboy 2 just for the fans. They held it at the Directors Guild in Hollywood. Some Blair was there, Mike and Christine were there, Guillermo was there. And it was something that was so intimate, but just so awesome. And I think the fans are different from other superhero fans. We'd have gift exchanges. We'd trade artwork or little trinkets. It felt like a true community. I love the community aspect of reading comics and discussing them afterwards. In 2013, I started writing for Multiversity Comics as their resident Hellboy Universe expert. I'm writing around 4,000 words a month just about Mignola's work. To this day, I still just absolutely love reading the comics. If you have a bad day, you can always read them and they make you kind of happy. Hi, I'm Jerry from Scotland. I'd like to thank Mike and Christine for the years of enjoyment and entertainment they've given me. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, for changing all of our lives and making it that much more fun. I'm glad to be a Hellboy and Mike Mignola fan. It's just one of my favorite things in the world. I love that world with every fiber of my being. It means a lot to me, being a nerd with Big Red. Thank you for this amazing comic. Mike, thank you for everything you've done. Hellboy was always a kind of a refuge for me in the tough times and you helped me a lot with your amazing stories and drawings. I just uh, really appreciate Mike, he's one of my comic book artist heroes. Greetings from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where we love all things Hellboy and BPRD. 
We love them so much that in every park, even small ones like this, we've hidden ancient evils to defeat. They are a delight and just beyond human reckoning. We should go.